guys, uh, welcome to Unbiased Rugby, uh, week 12 of Super Rugby. Uh, so today I'm just going to give you the predictions that, I, that I've put in my Super Brew for, for the weekend. And, uh, and then I'm going to talk about my, my, fantasy, my fantasy team and what I've done there. But yeah, let's just talk about the, about the games first. It's, it, it looks like it's going to be quite an interesting weekend of, of rugby. Some good games coming up. So, but let me let me just start chatting about. It. So the first game on on Fridays is the Chiefs versus the Jaguares. I think the Jaguares, I think they've had their first victory in New Zealand uh, against the Blues. Uh, I just don't think that uh, they'll be able to pull the, the the same kind of win off with the Chiefs. Uh, the Chiefs are a really really good outfit. Uh, so I've actually put the Chiefs by fourteen. And. Uh, but yeah, I still think it's going to be an entertaining game because uh, the Jaguares are on the up, and uh, but I still think the Chiefs will be too strong. The next game on the Friday is the uh, I think the Rebels versus the Crusaders. Uh, the Crusaders, I think, are also coming off quite a quite a good good run of victories. The Rebels, have, I think, they've lost their last four, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think it's going to be. I think the Crusaders are, are going to absolutely destroy the Rebels. And I think they're going to win about at least 21 points. That's what I've put in my Super Brew 21, Crusaders by 21. Next game on the Saturday, first thing in the morning, is the Waratahs versus the Blues. This was quite an, uh, quite a, uh, an interesting one. Yeah, I, th I don't think the Waratahs have won. I don't, I don't think an Australian side has beaten the New Zealand side for, for two, two and a bit seasons. I think 50 games, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be wrong. I, I could have read that wrong, but it's been quite a while. I think... Feel the Blues have hit rock bottom. I, I don't think they can sink any lower. Uh, uh, but you know, the, you know, stranger things have happened. But I think the Blues are gonna they're, they're gonna have some kind of fire and they're gonna have to turn a corner. And, and this this weekend they're gonna have to turn the corner. This weekend, it's absolute necessity. They can still make playoff playoff uh, spot if they actually turn turn the whole season around. I've put the the Blues by seven. I, th I think they're going to be hungry enough to. Be able to take the war, even though the Waratahs are head of uh, of the Australian Conference. I just think the the Blues are go they're going to bounce back. The next one, I've got the Hurricanes versus the Lions. Uh, the Hurricanes at home. <laughs> uh, I was actually going to go against my normal one of choosing South African teams to to win, uh, but then I, I watch I watch another. Uh, I watch quite a few uh, YouTube channels, <laughs> and one of the channels, I think, uh, I can't remember the name of hand, and he said the, the Lions by three. I thought that was a super brave call, so I've gone for exactly the same. I've said uh, Lions by seven. I think the, we just never know which Lions team is going to pitch up, the one that's going to beat you or the one you're going to beat. So it's, it's the Lions are having up and down season. But uh, I, I put the Emirates Lions to beat the Hurricanes at home by seven points. Next game, which is the game... I'm hoping to go watch, uh, but uh, we'll see. It depends on if they've got riots on the highway or anything, and I uh, won't be able to get past there. But well, let's see. I'm hoping I can I can get through. So let's see. Hope. So we got the Vodacom Bulls events versus the Stormers. Even though the, I, I think we're playing at home, I, I've gone for the Bulls by seven. Uh, I think uh, the Bulls have they really have have stepped up this year. It's going to be quite interesting. I think the scrums are going to be very, very interesting. I, I, I really rate the, the Stormer scrum. Uh, and the, the Bull scrum has improved drastically over the last, uh, last, couple, of, last couple of games. The last game, they just demolished the Rebels. So um, I'm, let's see. I, I'm looking at for quite an interesting set phase kind of game uh, with uh, scrums, things like that. And then I've got the Celsius Sharks versus the Highlanders. I've gone for the Sharks by seven, playing at home. The Sharks have been very, very disappointing this season. Uh, also up and down. I, I, I honestly feel they have the players to be a lot, lot better, in a, a lot better position than where they are. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, at least I'm guaranteed that one South African team will win this weekend. And <laughs> so, so the DHL Stormers against the Bulls. One of them has to win. Yeah, my luck and I'd probably be a draw but uh, yeah those are the games for the weekend those are my predictions uh, let's see how I do in my, my super brew pool uh, they actually mentioned me in my super brew pool that I was right at the top and I tumbled all the way down to the bottom 
But I haven't spoken uh, spoken about it for a while. But I actually have a uh, I play at Rugby Pass. There's also very very good uh, websites. I play a fantasy league there, and uh, obviously you choose your players and you have uh, players off the bench and you can do transfers and things like that. And it's quite interesting because not, you're not working with just teams, you're actually creating your own team. Uh, I finally, I, I'd had Warren Whiteley and uh, TJ Perinara on for, for ages. I had them on my on my subs board, were hoping that they'd come, come back. But I, I finally sold them this weekend and I replaced them. So I've actually got, for this weekend, I've got uh, uh, Low, Marks and Kitsoff. So those are one, two and three. I think that's a, that's a really good front row. I've got Retellic and Lurt at uh, as a lock pairing. I've got Khaleesi, uh, Jean Luc, and Rico Yani as uh, your your back three. Uh, I actually swapped TJ Perrineau and I've got Aaron Smith. So I've got Aaron Smith at nine. I've got Robert Dupree at uh, at ten. I've got Am and Creel as my centres. I've got Mpimpi and Bridge as my wings, and I've got Galant as my as as my fullback. So that's my team that I play with. And I, with the rugby pass system, it's quite nice because you can you get three transfers a week. You can transfer from your bench to your main uh, your your main team at any time. And it's nice because uh, obviously I have some some teams that are that are on bars, so I can I, I can move them around in my in my leagues. I actually dropped a few spots, so I'm, I'm 42nd out of 241 people in my, the Rugby Pass Global one. So I'm, I'm not doing too bad, uh, much better than I did last year. I think last year I got well in the bottom quarter, and this time I'm in the, in the, the top quarter. But yeah, those are my predictions for the week. Let's see, hopefully uh, hopefully, it, hopefully, it all works out, and uh, the, the South African teams do well. And But yeah, thanks guys, thanks for... Thanks for listening every week, and if you like my videos, please share them. Please give a thumbs up. Please hit the bell. Just do everything to to try get it out there. I, I think I'm up to 67 subscribers, which is which is wonderful. Uh, I didn't think I'd get past 10 when I first started. So yes, it's it's just been really really good. I'm gonna put down a list of of the the other YouTube channels that I follow. You know, uh, Coalface, which is very very good. Another South African channel, Two Cents Rugby, uh, really really good uh, from New Zealand. Uh, I, I can't remember the other name, but I'll get it. And then uh, uh, Driving Mall, which is also very, very good. Probably that was the first one that I st that I started watching quite a while ago. So yeah, I'm gonna put the list down there. Follow these guys as well, because uh, you know they also we all we all want to uh, give our predictions, and it's just really really nice. Okay, guys, chat soon. Cheers. Bye.